decided to use the Connectors books because we had a lot of fiction work in the school for the children to use but we really had to expand our non-fiction. There was a lot of resources to choose from and um, we got the Pupil Council together along with teachers and we had a look at the various resources and we had a chance to see connectors in use and then we decided that would be a good way of the children being able to find out about non-fiction works in a fun and relevant way. Some people have remembered that you take different roles of being the leader within a group and there are what sort of books, I don't know if you remember Rosie mentioned it, what sort of books are they all? Aidan? Non-fiction. Non-fiction. What does non-fiction mean? What does non-fiction call it? Um, it means that it's not made up. We use the connectors as part of our language lessons. They go alongside comprehension or grammar work that has been is running at the same time. And the small groups are concentrating on the connectors books. You're right, we move on to predicting. Could you tell me what it says loud enough for everybody to hear what about predictions? You can use these, these things to help you predict. Photographs, captions, headings, what you already know. What's the next thing that we do when we're in our groups? Bethany? Clarify. Clarify. Can you read out what it says at Clarify, nice and loud? Encourage your group to use a dictionary to look up unknown words, compare definitions from two or three dictionaries, a thesaurus to find the best meaning for the word in the text. Next thing that we move on to, Laura, is? Ask questions. Lead your group in a discussion about what they have read. Say, does anyone have, have a question they would like to put to the group? Encourage your group to talk about what they have found interesting or puzzling. Challenge them to create questions about the tense. You could ask who, what, where, when, why, how, or what if. Is if there is a stop sign on your page, ask the question and encourage everyone in the group to say something. Okay, the nice summary of what we've read is that the black rats were bad. The Connectors books are very straightforward and easy to use. After the initial setting up of the lesson and teaching the strategies and the vocabulary that is used, the lessons really run themselves. The children take responsibility for their being a role leader um, and taking responsibility for their own reading within the group. What's good about the Connectors is that the children build on their non-fiction information they read the non-fiction information in a fun and informative way. They're able to learn from each other. They're able to take on roles that they would not normally take on. It would encourage it encourages everybody to take on the role of our leader within the group and for other people to respect other members within the group. We've often found that children have, for example, been reading about ancient civilizations and then in their own time they're able to go and take up their own reading books and find out more about a subject that they've enjoyed reading about with connectors. We send the books home with the children because it is a new resource to use for them, for the parents as well as in the school. Just so that the parents could see what the children were actually going to be doing and for the children to explain the new way of doing the reading within the class. This helped the parents understand that there wasn't going to be nightly reading that they had to do with the children, but for them also to help the children and ask questions what they actually are doing in class as well. because it's a fun way of learning and you get to um, do it with your friends but you also learn things. I like connectors because it can help you build up teamwork. I like it because it's got pictures and we each get a turn to speak. I like connectors because you're in charge and you don't have a teacher who's in charge of the group, it's you and so it's really fun.